So we all know that the official Steam Deck dock is a bit overpriced for what it is, but it's great because it does have auto updates, but nonetheless, it's overpriced. And on top of the fact, this was delayed time and time again to the point where we didn't even know it was coming out this year. So all that being aside, the pioneer of the Steam Deck dock, the first company to put one out on the market and the company that continues to innovate and elevate over and over and over is none other than JSOX. They were the first to market with the Steam Deck dock at all because before that we were all using USB-C hubs. And they've continuously released Steam Deck docks, maybe a bit too many, but they were ahead of the curve of everyone else because every other company now at this point is playing catch up or they're ripping off of JSOX's designs constantly because that's the thing. So the latest dock out of the slew and sea of docks that are available now is one that allows you to utilize an M.2 SSD drive for expanded capability of utilizing your Steam library as well as your emulation and other things on your Steam Deck. And for all intents and purposes, JSOX with their marketing have touted this as the absolute best dock you can buy. There's slight truth to that, but we're going to dive into that and so much more in this video. So if you guys enjoy the content that I put out from reviews, impressions, Steam Deck news, and so much more, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. All that being said, let's uh, dive into this review of the Steam Deck dock with the N.2 slot from JSOX. So what's cool about this dock when you take it out of the box is the fact that it is a very sturdy, high quality thing. It comes in probably the biggest box for a product that JSOX has put out for it as far as the dock goes. And when you pull it out, you just see how much there is. Now there are about three variations on this dock. There is the standard one that just has the dock itself. There's also the one that has a one terabyte drive and also one that has a two terabyte M.2 SSD drive. Now the one that JSOX sent me is the one terabyte M.2 SSD drive. And yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. It's, it's a Lexar branded one and it, for all intents and purposes, runs as fast and fluid as I need it to. And one of the things I've been doing with this is I've just been storing a lot of my bigger games that I don't necessarily have time to dive into when I'm playing portably, but when I want to sit at my desk and play them, if I don't want to play them on my main computer, then I basically would just connect my Steam Deck to this dock and then there they are. And there's titles like Devil May Cry 5, God of War, Doom Eternal, Doom, Dirt 5, Cyberpunk, and even The Witcher 3. Oh, and we can't forget about Elden Ring because I, I gotta have the game of the year on that as well. So that's some of the things that I have on it. And, and when you connect it, you can go down to your storage and you'll be able to see like the additional storage that you have with it. Now, the part that's tricky about utilizing this dock is the setup process. And it's one that can be mildly, if not insanely infuriating, depending on your, you know, level of comfortability with tinkering and your familiarity with Linux. Now, if you can follow a guide, this is insanely simple to do, but if you're not technically savvy or technically inclined, this is gonna be a bit of a headache and it's not gonna be the plug and play device that you think it is. And honestly, with the way that Steam OS is set up currently and the way the Steam Deck is set up, it's still not a plug and play type of thing. When you do get this working, even though there is an auto mounting script, half the times it doesn't work and you're pretty much going to have to go to the desktop mode to remount it, to get it to work and go back into game mode if you want to do that. It, it's a bit of a, a hassle. But with all that being said, let me show you how to set this up. Now, the first thing you want to do is once you connect your Steam Deck to the dock and you've got your M.2 SSD plugged into it, then you're going to want to go to your desktop mode. So once you go to desktop mode, the first thing you want to do is go to your applications and you're going to want to look for the program that's called KDE Partition Manager. Now, once you get this open and set up, you're going to look for your M.2 SSD drive. And it's going to, if you get the one that came with the uh, JSOX one, 
then it's going to have a file name of an RTL 92 and then such and such. So once you go to the KDE partition manager, then you're going to highlight the RTL drive or your M.2 drive, and then you're going to create a new partition table. So once you do that, then you're gonna click on new. You're gonna change the file system to ext4, label it whatever you want. I label mine JSOX just because it's simple and easy to remember, and I'm not gonna really tinker with it any further. But yeah, you're gonna label it that, and then once you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and create the partition. And then after that, you're going to go over to disk and devices, and then you're going to mount the disk. Now the next thing you're gonna to need to do while you're here in desktop mode is to pull up Steam. And if you have Family View on, you're gonna to need to turn that off because this next part is gonna be very important. You're not gonna be able to get to it if Family View is on because you're gonna to need to do a little bit of additional configuration in order to get this to basically work with your Steam library in desktop mode as well as be recognized when you're in the game mode. So you're going to go to your settings in Steam, then you're gonna to go to downloads and then you're gonna click on Steam library folders. Once you're there, you're gonna click on plus if it's not already showing, um, but if it is showing, it'll just pop up next to your internal storage and your SD, micro SD card. But if it's not, click on the plus sign, you're gonna find the SSD and then once you do that, you're going to add that as a storage location for Steam to look for. And then once you're done with that, you can quit out of everything, go back to gaming mode, and then you'll be able to see that your hard drive is now listed as a storage that the Steam Deck can use for additional storage for games. Okay, so once you're back in gaming mode, if you got Family View, go ahead and turn that off. That way you can go to your settings and you'll be able to see the additional storage that you have. So you go to settings, go down to storage, and you'll be able to see all the additional storage that you have available to put your games on. And once you're done with that, all you've got to do at this point is select what games you want to install on it. Now. I have found that downloads do not have much of a difference in speed value from downloading to the internal drive versus downloading to the M.2 SSD or even the micro SD card. So, so roughly your downloads are gonna be the same regardless of what you do. So yeah, it's, it's fine. Like just download whatever you want. I Like I said, I put a lot of my bigger games on the M.2 just because this is usually where I'm gonna be utilizing to make my content. Until like I get a dual PC set up, this is kind of gonna be what I'm gonna be using to do that. There is an, and I wanna mention this too, because there is an auto script that you can use, but look, the auto script that they have the instructions for, both on JSOX's website when you purchase this device, as well as like the information they give you you know for the the youtube channel to go to look at how to set it up uh it's out of date and half the times if you are able to get it work it, it won't work like i've tried it sometimes the auto mount will work sometimes it won't and if you run into situations where the auto mount doesn't work then you basically just need to as i said earlier go to desktop mode and then once you're in desktop mode you can literally just launch it from there and then once you're in desktop mode just go down to discs and devices or discs and drivers or whichever it is and then mount it and then you'll be set and ready to go and once you've done that yeah you're completely set you've got an additional one terabyte or two terabyte or up to however big of a drive that you want to include for your steam deck now there are some caveats with this device that makes it not the perfect dock and it's something that until we get the auto mounting situation fixed and the other problem that I'm gonna talk about that really makes me not wanna use this is the fact that when you use this dock, the dock itself becomes insanely hot. Yes, it's made out of aluminum magnesium alloy and you know that should dissipate heat a lot better than you know traditional other materials, but this thing constantly heats up and it gets a bit concerningly hot and it's gotten so hot at points for me when I'm playing games with it that at times my Steam Deck will heat up with it 
And even if you put the thermal tape on top of the M.2 SSD, it still gets really hot. Um, it, like I said, like I've had instances where I'm playing games, I'm playing like Witcher, I'm playing uh, Cyberpunk 2077, or if I'm playing like Jedi Fallen Order or anything like that, after some time, the Steam Tech just really gets really hot. The dock gets very, very hot. And then the Steam Deck will just, because it has that throttle to cut itself off to preserve itself, when it gets too hot, it just cuts itself off. So that that's one of the, the biggest downsides of this drive. So you've got to deal with the annoyance of getting it to mount, the annoyance of setting it up to begin with, and then also dealing with the fact that well, the heat, <laughs> the heating issue. So if you're in somewhere like where I'm at here in Hawaii, where it's typically always hot, that may not be a good combination for your Steam Deck. Um, but I do like the additional functionality it brings to having additional storage. It's just the trade-off of the heat and my concerns about the damage it could cause to my Steam Deck. That's just, you know, that's one of the things I'm very concerned with. But Beyond that, I, I think it's 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 a cool dock. It's a cool concept that's not fully realized. And I'm not afraid to admit that. Like JSOX, I know you guys watch a lot of my content. This is a great device that is a great concept that's not fully realized. And as far as like the, the script to get that to auto mount, it, it, if we can get to a point where it auto mounts, without let's say like a high failure rate that it currently has it would be a lot better but as it is it's just it, it, it's good in theory but practical application is just not there i mean i know a lot of people stand by this particular dock that's cool but i don't know it's just for me personally it's just not for me the cons heavily outweigh the pros and that's just where i stand with this but all that being said, I mean, for a lot of people, maybe this is great. But just for me, this is just my honest opinion on this dock. Now, should you buy it? I think if you are going to buy it, you should probably wait until you can get the mod case from JSOX and you can use the cooler attachment that keeps your Steam Deck cool. And if you haven't replaced a Delta fan in your Steam Decks with the weighing fan, then yeah, I, I think you'd need to do that as well. So uh, I would I would honestly think that would be the best route to go that. And, and honestly, when it comes to these docks, I would like to see a point where we can have the docks have some type of like built-in type of ventilation to keep them cool because that's a lot going through these docks, whether it's made of plastic or aluminum, regardless of the matter, you've got power going through that that can overheat it and it's just a concern of mine you know but anyways that's my thoughts on the jsox m.2 uh, ssd storage dock what do you guys think about it if you guys enjoyed this video if you did cool if you want to pick this up i've got affiliate links down below um but yeah get it at your own risk this is my experience with this. I don't think this is ultimately necessary or ultimately fully realized. But all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Be blessed. If you, you know, like the video, share it around if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later, man. Peace.